What is up everyone? In today's video, I'm going to physically and mentally exhaust my Belgian Malinois with these two balls. This is not the traditional two ball fetch that you've seen before. It's way different. It's way better. Let's go. Yeah. So I told you this was going to be physical and mental. Obviously the physical part, I don't need to explain that, but it's a mental exercise because the dog's going, he can choose. I throw both. He's going to get one. He's bringing it back. He's playing with it. He's thrashing with it. He got his rabbit. He loves that toy. Now I make him let go. I keep it in his presence and I tell him to go get the other one. So the mental part is having to pull himself away from that toy he just partied with to go and get the other one. Another great part about this two ball exercise is it allows you to really exercise your dog safely. If you guys have seen any of my other videos with a real fast dog, fetch makes me cringe sometimes. So it's a safe way to get the same amount of exertion as if you're just whipping a ball. But you have that mental aspect to it too. That's the difference between working the dog and exercising the dog. Yes. I really like these particular balls because of the size of them. It's quite literally a mouthful for my boy Jasper, a much more satisfying bite. It's got a nice little rope on it so he can thrash and feel real good. But the best part is it has these little built-in handles. So maybe your dog isn't quite as good as biting the ball at biting the ball as Jasper's. Maybe they're a rope biter. This little handle here allows you to really place the dog. Yes. Done. Koosh. Done. Exactly where you want. Stick it right in their face. There's one place for them to bite. If you want to know where to get these balls, Canine Culture Collective on Instagram. Not affiliated with the company, but friends of mine, small business, they make a great product. Type that into Instagram shoot them a direct message, mention your boy so they'll respond to you. So for this exercise, get you two. Yes, buddy. Thank you. 
Jasper. Jasper. Come on, that's a mental workout right there too. The dog actually has to think when you tell them to get the ball and not just chase one blindly and he's off. When Jasper starts running to the pond, you know he's about done. Let's take a look. Done. Couché. Now that is a tired dog right there. Of course he could keep going, but that's not the point. He's exhausted physically, mentally, our little two ball game. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Warning, this kind of session takes some training for the dog. You know, whipping the ball, as long as they can bring it back and let it go, you can play. But this game with the two balls, it's a little more complicated, but definitely something to strive for. So let me know where your dog's at in the comments. If you really like, hop on my Patreon, patreon.com slash Andy Kruger. Check out over a hundred exclusive training videos, in depth, broken down on that platform. Happy training, y'all. Till next time. Two balls. Two? Yes.